welcome back to the All Things Boobs podcast. My name is Satara. My name is Madison. Today, we are actually styling how we dress a fuller bust versus styling our lingerie pieces. So I know that that could be still a little bit hard to figure out because clothing doesn't fit, my button-ups don't fit, you have to buy extra large t-shirt, all these different things where it kind of just doesn't work with our proportions. Well, you know, we're trying to find the best outfits to show you and the best tips to help that's not just jeans and a t-shirt where we can kind of style things in different ways. So Madison, show me that incredible dress that you have on right now. (laughs) Thank you. So my first couple outfits are actually going to be skims um, in different ways because um, first of all, I think that a lot of fuller bust people wear stretchy things because Mm -hmm. it like kind of stretches over the boobs and it hugs the Mm -hmm. waist. And so um, I've got a lot of skims dresses, but these, like the typical skims dress with the skinny straps is definitely Mm -hmm. the hardest for fuller bust. So I actually wore this this weekend um, because I went to the like this gem show and I was like, I want to wear this dress, but they're hard to wear without a bra. Like I can wear it with pasties, but it's not supportive. So I was like, I'm going to wear it with a bra. So I'll show you exactly what I did. Um, cool. So this is a, I love this color. Like this is a great, this is a skin dress. On you. <laughs> um, and so I have, I showed this a few episodes ago, but I have this like blue bra I just got. Um, and so basically I didn't want the look where it was kind of conflicting. So I think when I wore this, I kind of put these straps under these straps so that Mm -hmm. it wouldn't fall down. But right now I'm just going to do this like this. Um, (laughs) So from the front, it looked like this. And this skims dress has a low back, right? Beautiful. And so from the back, it was the bra, right? Wow. And so you guys know me, like, I don't mind showing the bra, um, but I really just didn't want to go braless in this dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I was like, it looks like it's part of the dress because it's the same color. I got stopped a whole bunch. People really loved it. I got no like yeah. shaming because my <gasps> bra was out. Um, but yeah, this is just like the look that I wore. That's a really, really great point because I think at some point we don't, there's not enough brands that make clothing for us. And because our bras can be so large, it's really yeah. hard to hide them. So it's like, okay, just accept that you will see some part of the bra in some of your outfits, but it's okay yeah. because you want to wear the outfit. So don't let your bra stop you from wearing what you want to wear. So that's yeah. really awesome. Thank you for showing that, Madison. It's gorgeous. Wow. And that color just suits me so well. <laughs> Thank but you. honestly, like um, wearing stretchy stuff is totally what I do a lot too. Like finding crop tops that are stretchy fabric. So it really just shows off your waist, but also has enough stretch for your breasts. It's really, really helpful. So thank you for showing that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Sarah, show me this outfit because I love it. Okay. I love it. <laughs> It is super, super stretchy leather pants, okay? So they're nice, comfortable, you're chill. They're also figure hugging, so they really just help with the body shape like we've kind of been talking about. Madison's been so greatly um, commenting me on. And then this this is a, like a nice waistcoat. You could cinch it a little bit in in the back if you want to to kind of give more waist. But what I like about this is it's plungy enough to like give you some shape and show the girls and stuff it's not so high neck but it's not too plungy where it shows the bra and then on the side it actually has enough space here where it doesn't show the bra either so it's kind of like that perfect length to cover it but I think the bra is the most important piece in this underneath I have a full cup bra that has a low center gore so this kind of allows for everything to be encapsulated but you can't if this was higher you could kind of see if that was just a little bit higher, it would show in the piece. So it's kind of like that perfect combination of the bra and the waistcoat. But yeah, this is this is it. And I like it. <laughs> it, it. It's really like classy, right? Thanks. And I love that. It's like this really nice tailored, but also like, mm-hmm. like very chic and like classic. Like it just it's it's a it's a it has a vibe to it where you're Thank like you. that is a polished of scale. Well, thank um, you. Do you, so Tara, do you have like any, like just general, I'm wondering, like fashion tips for ladies out there that are kind of shaped like more hourglassy? Totally. Actually, I was going to share this at the end, but I'm just going to share this now. So I pretty much have like two general rules for styling the upper body. 
Um, one of them is that wear something that's kind of low cut and not too high. Like even mm. if it's like a square neckline or a plunge, that is going to be the best thing for you. That's my second one is square neckline. So that's what I do. Have a plunge <laughs> and have a square neckline. I'm like, I said it both. Um, so number one, plungy. Number two, square neck. So something, even if it's like a sweater, I have another shirt in here, so don't mind me. But even this, it looks like it's super deep V. But when you yeah. have it on, it literally just sits perfectly. You have kind of like that delicate cleavage, but it's not like full on breast. Whereas yeah. if I have anything high neck, even even if it's not turtleneck, just like a high color, it's really hard to achieve like a not bulky look without yeah. having a little bit of of dip. Even if it's high neck, I have this one top that's up here and then mm -hmm. the bottom has a cutout. So this is also just for total figure not just for the chest but this has like yeah. a beautiful scoop neckline it's actually reversible which i think is awesome it has Ooh. this beautiful this chain piece on it Ooh. that goes on the neck it's really gorgeous yeah. but this is like a scoop but then for the bottom piece it's all tight enough and knit that it really hugs the figure i think yeah. like i was saying i think in the last video when it comes to curves Typically high-waisted and crop is the best look for me that I've found. I, I struggle with low rise and I struggle with anything too high in the neck. So kind of, even though it sounds, now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, it sounds kind of so skimpy, you know, being like low cut and high, you know, like that. But it, it's not like when you find pieces like this, this is low cut, but it's not skimpy. And same with this, this sweater, right? Just finding things that work for you. I think that's, that's my biggest tips. Yeah. And the, we mm -hmm. talked about this in another video, but I don't, I don't think it made the final cut um, about mm -hmm. like the high waisted on the curvy hips, like yeah. tend to work really, really well. Right. Because yeah. you have like that, the tight part around the waist and then enough mm -hmm. space. And then mm -hmm. um, like Satara is not really like a big baggy pant person just no. because that's not <laughs> yeah. like the shape of like her, her shape is more curved. And so when you have like those mm -hmm. big, like especially stiff baggy pants like the ones I wear, they're just they totally. fight the curve, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas I don't. I mean, I'm fuller bust, but I'm not very curvy on the bottom, and so mm -hmm. I work really well with like those like stiff, huge pants. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But and, and you work really well with low rise. Like I've never seen anybody rock low rise like you do. Low rise. Um, what I have learned studying trying to figure out what works for my body is that my, I have a short torso. And mm -hmm. so I like, can't really wear high rise because mm -hmm. it comes up to my bra. Mm -hmm. And so low rise on mm -hmm. me typically looks like mid rise on a lot of people with a, a longer torso. Right. right. And so, um, well, yeah, I right. think there's a lot of thoughts around different rises or like these pants are better. Skinny jeans are better. Like it, but really it's about educating mm -hmm. yourself as to what's going to work on your figure. Right. Um, that. while we're on that topic, I am going to talk a little bit about um dressing my kind of curvy right because yeah. we are different right. in this dress right so typically mm. guys those like like the skims dresses the really form fitting like stretchy dresses like typically are going to be the most harmonious with a figure like Satara's where it's really just like like sculpting like the that curve on her a lot of people that have my figure where it's kind of I mean I have a waist but I'm mostly I mean, I have a low waist to hip ratio, right? There's mm -hmm. not much, I'm not like this, right? Mm -hmm. Typically, mm -hmm. people don't, like with my figure, don't like wearing stuff like this because it makes them feel straight, right? Mm -hmm. I don't really mm -hmm. care. Because... Good, you shouldn't. It's I beautiful. love my body, but yeah. I will tell you some things that work for me about this dress. So when you are built like me, where you're mostly shoulders and limbs, mm -hmm. right? I'm mostly, I'm, I'm wide and long. Um, anything that's mm -hmm. kind of long and one color and to the floor is still going to look good on you, even if it's super tight and not yeah. loose, because it's mimicking that like length, right? You can see it's like long and long, right? Yeah. Um, and then in terms of shoulders, I will tell you guys that um, the way that I do it and the way that I've been taught is anything that's a wide neckline on someone with wide shoulders is mm -hmm. going to look very like harmonious, right? Anything that's kind of like this neckline where it starts to do this mm -hmm. is going to make your shoulders look wider. That's not a bad thing. Just like looking straighter is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It's just educating yourself as to the effect of certain clothes on your body. So wide nice. neckline 
is going to look great. This kind of neckline is going to make your shoulders look wider, but it does give you that Amazon look, right? Another thing that I can really pull off is this length of dress, but uh, not form fitting. So like those shift dresses look really good. Yeah, cool. I've got like the yeah. hanger body where it's like the wide and the long, right? <laughs> yeah. I call it that. Like, Thank you for sharing. <laughs> um, but anyways, those are some tips. And this is how um, we would style just a casual um, for fuller bust. Let's change and do our next one. All right, guys. So we are now going to do another kind of, again, this is a little bit more upscale, um, dressing fuller bust without showing the lingerie, which I think is, you know, more realistic for <laughs> most people. people. Again, I went to another one of these like medical <laughs> events, um, but this one was a brunch. And so this one was Ooh. like, and I think it actually was a baby shower brunch. So I was like, can't show up in a bra. Um, okay. And so I'm showing this because it's another skims kind of looking dress, um, which again, I love wearing because, you know, the boobs. Um, what I did, this is actually like a vest from my like of my mom goes all the way to the ground um and i put it on and it has like buttons and stuff but when i closed the buttons of the vest it was very boxy mm. um and so and i already had like a boob i mean my boobs are big compared to the rest of me so what i did mm. was i found a belt and guys i can't emphasize enough find like get belts mm -hmm. yeah because belts not only will pull the outfit together but especially again if you're trying to like you know, really have the waist hug, you need one. So I found I had a belt like made, like this is exactly the size that I wanted, right wow. for my belt. Um, and then I just put this vest on. So it's like very, very conservative from the back, right? It goes all the way to the floor. And then I just like opened it up and kind of gathered the fabric. What this is doing is it's giving me balance, right? Mm -hmm. Which again, you don't have to be an hourglass, but like, because I had like the tight dress, which was making my boobs look massive and mm -hmm. extra fabric that I added here, I gather this. So it's giving me shape here. Right. Gorgeous. Um, and again, it was very conservative. I wore it with these like Navajo pearls because I was at a, again, Southwest event. And <laughs> I know I showed my cowboy hat with an outfit a few days ago, but I'm going to show it with this too, because another thing, if you're someone with like, again, this has to do with the width of the shoulders. Like you were mm. wide and long. Mm. Um, what you can really pull off are like giant accessories, right? Cool. Um, it just has to do with the fact that you had that length and that exaggerated width. So um, mm. I can wear big hats, wow, yeah. right? That's great. And so I could wear this. I have other hats that I would probably wear with this, but just wanted to show you that other than like the boob thing, if you have my body type, don't be afraid of like the ginormous accessories because you can usually like really, that's they gorgeous. Look, they look harmonious with you. So don't, don't think about that. I All wish right. I could wear big accessories like that. That looks amazing. <laughs> and it's, it's something cool. I just learned because I got, I got body typed and um, right. I'll plug Ellie Jean who did my body typing. And she was cool. like, a lot of women with big shoulders are like weird about being like having big shoulders. And she's like, just wear big things. And I'm like, oh, it just saved my whole life. Seriously, it pulls together so nicely. But you, I love this outfit because it really just looks like, um, like a '60s vibe where you're yeah. just like mom going like to the coffee shop or going out with friends. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I really love that look on you, and with the big, the pointy sunglasses. Oh, it just pulls it all together so nicely. <laughs> like I need a martini. Like, yes, that's exactly it. Okay, so. This is kind of my also conservative. I feel like this would be more of a business look if I didn't want to style the lingerie either. But I will actually yeah. wear this quite a lot to events. I've had it in my closet for some time now. But it's beautiful. I think for me, two-piece sets are the way to go. Something yeah. that is matching because I'm a simple gal. So if it's simple and I know it goes well together, it's awesome. So this is kind of that like two-piece. It's a top. A crop top, like I said, is a little bit more flattering, I think, on polar bus. And then we mm. have this like high rise skirt. I love that it has that like I don't know the the it's more fabric here. I don't know why. I think it gives it's like you more draping right from the back. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. But the silk is like thick and really really nice. So like I was saying before, this has a lower neckline, right? So it's flattering. If I were to put this like here, it doesn't look like there's enough shape here. Personally, mm -hmm. I like it having open. So even just like low cut, but it's not showing anything kind of gives it that nice. I don't know. I think it's more feminine it kind of gives yeah. me a little bit more, more shape. 
Um, yeah. yeah. Another thing for me is personally wearing skirts that aren't too long. I think if they're too long, I just have too like Madison, you look gorgeous with like a really long dress. But I think mm-hmm. for me, anything that's like just below the knee or just above the knee is kind of like that perfect yeah. shape for me to not look so like out here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Unless it's super tight because then yeah. you have that curve that goes kind of goes all the way down. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. That makes sense because I think if it were, if it were kind of semi tight, but loose, they like hit the curves and then it does, it doesn't yeah. do anything versus, exactly. you know, did you ever watch, I, I don't know if, uh, do you ever watch the Powerpuff Girls? Like when you were growing up, mm-hmm. you know, like the woman that miss like Miss Red, who she always had that like red outfit, you know how yep. she wore that pencil skirt that was like, like, yes. Yes. <laughs> it was like boobs. Yes. And then like, it, like, and yes. she wore a pencil skirt that came exactly. immediately down. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. With those, like, ex- with the exaggerated, like, hips, you want something mm-hmm. that's either going to hit you, like, right after the curve stops or be yep. super form fitting all the way down. Right. Totally. Right. But, anyways, um, I love the, like, so many aspects of it. So, first of all, totally office worthy. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I definitely yes. think that's, and I also think, like, you probably could have worn that for the lingerie business outfit because I think the fabric feels bedtime. True. Right. That, like, satiny. Right. Yes, um, right. So that works mm-hmm. on you. Um, I mm-hmm. love the, again, the kind of the, the neckline that's a little bit lower um, just because it, it does give some relief and openness yes. like to the mm-hmm. chest. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the color. Wait, tell us about, okay. So we've also been color types. So tell us about like your color season and why this works. Cool. Totally. A hundred percent. So yeah, I, me and Madison have both got our colors and like our styling done in two separate times, two separate places, but both turned out so well. So I am a autumn in my colors. So I like, I can't go with black or white. I'm, uh, you know, going creams or browns or beiges or oranges and reds, like that kind of thing is really what fits my skin tone. But then I'm also like a classic engineer. So things that are very like, form fitting but also like delicate and kind of cute and has like floral and detail and that kind of thing so really just learning that about myself has helped so much because I know that even just as we're talking about it floppy things don't work for me structured things (laughs) give me structure I I don't know about you Madison but it's been like extremely helpful just to shop for now and like when I go into a store I'm not rummaging through so many things I know exactly what colors I need and exactly what kind of shape it's supposed to give me so I find it very helpful yeah I got my colors and my styling done or at least I got my body typing and my um colors done because I as I've said I kind of know what style I like already yeah, that's um, great. but I got I'm a I'm a what is it dark winter so I mean that's why mm-hmm. I gravitate so much toward black and if you totally. if you guys don't know what color seasons are like it's not just like wear these and don't wear these colors what it's really Mm -hmm. about is like educating you as to what effect certain colors will have on you so me Mm -hmm. with my skin tone and my uh, a cool undertone and i'm a winter black never looks edgy on me right it Mm -hmm. just looks like Mm -hmm. a color that goes with me versus Mm -hmm. on satara black might be look like an edgy choice it's gonna pop on her like it doesn't on me um, mm-hmm, and that mm-hmm. was so helpful for me to understand because I'm mm-hmm. always trying to look edgier. And I was like, dang it, please, the black stuff just looks like it's like is normal. <laughs> um, and it. then yes. I was mm-hmm. body typed um, in the Kibbe system. So I'm a flamboyant natural, which just basically cool. means what I've been saying, which is giant totally. shoulders and giant limbs and <laughs> what works for that. So I highly recommend. It. Okay. Yeah, it is really cool to see also because some colors actually make you look tired and drained and yeah. that kind of thing whereas other colors make you feel bright and energized like it all has to do with it's so small but when you see it you can't not see it and I think yeah. it's really important I got mine done by house of color and I know that's that's all over the world so we could link yeah. it down below just because yeah. they are really really awesome <laughs> yeah I got mine done by uh I think color my style but similar totally. vibe like they sent me totally. I think for me, the biggest thing was um, because all of my closet is black, I was surprised because they gave me like 80 colors and I was like, oh, I never thought of like, you know, lavender. <laughs> totally. Yeah. A hundred percent. It looks so um, good. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, cool. I'm going to do one more outfit just because um, we did a corset video. So I'm going to style a corset um, okay. and I'll change it to that. All right. Wow. Hey, that's gorgeous. gorgeous. 
All right, guys, this is a new outfit because the Tara and I just put it together together. And I wanted wow. to show you an outfit with a corset. So this so is gorgeous. a Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> themed puffy pirate shirt outfit, cool. um, which we all want to be able to do. So I'm going to show you how I did it. And obviously, yeah. I don't know like where I'd wear this to. This would probably work for Halloween. This would probably yeah. work for Vegas. This is definitely a show the bra thing. It's not very conservative. Yeah. And so maybe better for our other styling videos. But anyway, I wanted to do it. So we've got a collar, which I love wearing oh, this. Yeah. Um, this is from Bordell. If you are super conservative and you don't want to show any bra, get some collars because they are yeah. sexy, right? <clears throat> then we have a corset um, from Corset Story. And it is over oh, yeah. a pair of black pants. So that's pretty easy. Um, and oh. then... I have a puffy beach shirt. This isn't even like a formal blouse. It's just like a beach shirt. Love and it. then this like beautiful white bra from Samantha. Um, and so Tara helped me pick this because I was going to go leather bra, but she wanted like the mixed match of the materials, yeah, which like makes it. it a little bit more interesting. So, yeah. Um, and I love the contrast of the black and white. It looks so beautiful. Right. It just, it's just interesting to look at. Right. Yes. And yes. it's cool. Um, so again, Thank you. I, I'm actually really excited because I haven't worn this before. And so this is oh. a this is a new vibe for me. Um, I definitely love pirate, but mm -hmm. I have not worn this type yet. So anyway, guys, um, <laughs> took us like 20 minutes to get into this. <laughs> and it's like two seconds uh, and wrap. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, but anyways, we hope this was helpful. We love doing yeah. styling videos for you guys. Um, but again, our message with these is always um, be patient, curate your closet, experiment. Yeah. You guys don't even know, like we filmed these videos in like an hour, but we met like a few hours before to run by Maybe. ideas and some of them just did not work and that just happens. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. um, it takes, it's just experimentation and time, honestly. Exactly. hundred um, percent. Anything else? <laughs> No, well said. Well said. This was really, really fun and really great. If you have any other suggestions for us, please don't hesitate to give us a message or comment or anything like that. But um, other than that, we'll see you in the next episode. All right. Bye, guys.